Hello everyone in YouTube land, Nintendo fanboy. I'm summoning back here as always. Alright. This is something interesting. And it is gaming related and movie related. Um, maybe something you care about or don't care about. But I do. Um, and that is the Mortal Kombat movie reboot is coming in 2021, I believe. March something of 2021. Last time I checked on IMDb, so... Yeah, we are getting a new Mortal Kombat movie. I forgot who's directing it, but I know who's producing it, and it's uh, James Wan. I believe it's James Wan that is directing it. But we got some news on a here. <laughs> um, that James Wan is producing it. Does this even stand here? I'm looking at IGN right now. Um, but yeah, there is three things on this movie. They casted Sub-Zero. Aw. Uh, let's see. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Joe Tass? Tasslam? I don't know how to pronounce his last name. But he is Sub-Zero. He is Sub-Zero. Holy shit. Um, if you've seen the movie The Raid, go see it. That's perfect casting. That is awesome. If you see what he looks like, that is perfect casting. It is good casting, but obviously sub is wearing his, you know, mask. I mean, in the games, you do see him unmasked. I mean, in the older games, whatever. But I think this is really good casting. Who knows whether they're going to cast a Scorpion. Obviously, Scorpion has to be in his, in his movie. Sonya, Johnny Cage, Raiden, Kano, Goro. Like, all the, all the main characters from the first game, and then maybe... Oh, Shao Kahn. Well, not Shao Kahn, no. Um, you're Sonya, you're Johnny Cage, you're Liu Kang, you're Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Kano... Katana. Katana wasn't until the second game. But Katana was in uh, the first movie. So, yeah, Katana didn't come out come in the games until the second game. Tomorrow will come in two. So, yeah. But, yeah, they casted Sub-Zero. Um, and it says here, yeah, Kano, Sonya, Raiden. Um, a new character called Cole Turner. I don't know who that is. Don't make up characters, please. Well, they kind of did make up some new characters in the original movie back in 95. I love that movie. That movie is so good. Uh, it is stands alone as one. It's an awesome... I mean, it's a great moral, great video game adaptation if you're a fan of the games. And then just a great action movie, too. But, God, that movie is dated, but it's so good, though. Annihilation, obviously, wasn't great, but I have fond memories watching it when I was a kid for some reason. I don't know why. There is some there is some good in that movie, but there's a lot of bad too, but Raiden short hair. <laughs> but no, um the new movie looks promising. It really does. And big here, this is really big. The one thing that was holding the first movie back was the rating. And it is rated R. The 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 new movie is rated R. And it's funny because it says fatalities. Gory fatalities. It they there were fatalities in the first movie. They were. There were fatalities in the first movie. Watch it. There's fatalities. Um, Johnny Cage fighting a scorpion. Scorpion's body blowing up. Uh, that was kind of a friendship type move, I guess. Because he threw his picture in his autograph. His picture or whatever. Add some humor to it. Um, like the f friendships do, obviously. Uh, there's countless fatalities in the first movie. And they always say, obviously, in the movie, they, they always said flawless victory in the movie, too. And they said, oh, I said, it's a fatality. But these are be go this is true. They're probably going to focus on the recent games, 9, 10, and 11. Because those are, you know, the very gory. The whole, the, uh, the whole series has been gory, but they're going to follow, obviously, 10 and 11. Mainly 11, because it's the new, newest game. But the time the movie comes along, it could be Mortal Kombat 12 would be out. Probably not, I don't know. I don't know. 
that's, you know, 2021. That's not that far away, actually, if you think about it, so probably not. Um, this is like, what, four years between each Mortal Kombat game recently, I think. Something like that, like three and a half, four, four, four five years, whatever, between each game. So, but anyways, I don't want to overthink this. I cannot wait for this movie. It's going to be, it's gonna be really awesome. Uh, hopefully. I, I think it's going to be awesome. I really do. I have, I have high hopes for this movie. It's rated R. Like, it's going to be really gory. It's going to theaters. It's just not straight to video movie. You know, it's not video, video on demand. VOD. It's going to be awesome. It really is. But yeah, this is all coming... The whole R-rated stuff and the fatalities thing is coming from one of the writers, Greg Russo. So, on Twitter. But I'm reading this on IGN. Um, but yeah, it's going to be awesome. And the casting for Sub-Zero, that is great casting. And yeah, you can't get any wrong. But that, yeah, that was really holding the first movie back. Was the was the PG-13 rating, you know, not having an R rating there. Um, and maybe even the tech. I think they were they were scared of the gore, but also that maybe the technology was not there. I mean, 95, 94, 95, you can't you couldn't do stuff. You really, really couldn't do much back in the mid mid 90s, early to mid 90s with that type of you know what I mean, like gory stuff. It's really amazing. Who knows what, what story they're gonna go for? I think it's going to go back to the, you know, the first one, and basic Mortal Kombat stuff, and like I said, your basic characters. That'd be great if this becomes a, you know, Mortal Kombat cinematic universe type thing. Um, who knows, like, maybe it will, maybe it will, but I just wanted to post my thoughts on this, it's really, you know, really cool. Um, video game adaptations are, I think, heading in a good direction. Obviously, since Detective Pikachu. Um, I really liked that movie I saw in the theaters. It was, it was really good. Really good Pokemon movie. I mean, it was for the gamers. It felt very gamey. You know what I mean? It just felt like a game. Um, or it just really respected the fans in a way. And then the franchise itself, too. You know what I mean? Like, it has to do that... Um, it wasn't generic. It was really, just really awesome. You know, hopefully the Mortal Kombat movie will be that too. I mean, I happen to be the fan. I happen to be a fan of the games, and yeah, so I'm excited. And the first movie, I'm, I'm, ex I'm a fan of the games, so I'm really looking forward to see how it looks on the big screen. Um, how the characters will look, how the violence will look, how they pull off, the, how the fatalities. Is it gonna be just like the first movie in a way? Maybe it's not gonna be a remake tournament, blah, blah, blah. Who knows what they're going to do? I don't know. Gather up all these characters and I don't know what direction they're going to go. Like, no one really knows what kind of direction they're going to go with this movie. That's the thing. How are these fatalities going to play into the movie? How are they going to do each? Because that's what they did with the original, with the first movie. They, each scene was a fight. And each scene was a fight. I mean, like I said, the first movie had some made-up characters, like Liu Kang was fighting some other character, and then Sonya was fighting Kano, and Joint Cage or Scorpion, Liu Kang and Sub-Zero, Johnny Cage and Goro, Liu Kang and Reptile. I'm trying to remember all the fights here. <laughs> Is Sony fight anymore? I'm trying to think here. Oh yeah, jo Liu Kang and Katana, which was kind of like a friendly fight, I guess. It wasn't really a real fight. And then Liu Kang and Shang Tsung. And at the end... They tease Shao Kahn, which, yeah. At the end, that didn't really look like Shao Kahn, so, I don't know. Um, yeah, like, who knows what the direction will be. How gory it will be is right R, so it's gonna be gory. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Comment down below what you think about this. Are you excited for the Mortal Kombat movie? Not much to say. Not much to say, because it's not coming out to 2021, and they're not... I mean, they're just starting to cast this movie, but... It's pretty big news when you see a rating like this on a Mortal Kombat movie, and also I can't forget we had that web series, you know, that was pretty cool for what it was. It was awesome. I love that series. Both of them. They're really good. I like the first one more, but I, I like both seasons. Um, 
if anyone remembers those, just look them up on YouTube a couple years ago or whatever. So, 2011, I think, or 2012. I remember that stuff. So, but so far, so good. Good casting on Sub-Zero, R-rated, fatalities, gory fatalities, so that's all good. So, peace out. More random videos coming soon. Comment down below what you think about this recent news on the reboot, Mortal Kombat movie, R-rating, gory, Sub-Zero, all that stuff. So, peace out. More random videos, more random videos coming soon. Later. Bye.